How different are domestic and industrial sewing machines? At the costume studio where I work, we have both types. And in this video, I'll walk you through the features of each and explain why you might choose one over the other for various sewing applications. Hi, I'm Rachel, and welcome to my channel, La Brecaleuse, where I share tips and techniques from almost 30 years working as a costume craftsperson. Many people are familiar with domestic sewing machines. Even if you don't know how to sew, you've probably seen this type of machine at friends' houses, for sale at fabric stores, or on loan at your local library. Domestic machines are affordable, usually. You can buy high-end machines for high-end prices, but basic domestics are similar price points to other specialized appliances, like a stand mixer or a microwave oven. Domestic machines are portable. A dedicated sewing space is great, but you can set up a domestic machine on a desk or kitchen table and put it away when you're done sewing. Some even have handles or travel cases to make their portability even easier. Domestic machines often have a wide range of stitches and features. Stretch stitches, decorative stitches, the options vary depending on the model, but most have more than straight and zigzag. Selections are usually visible on the machine housing near their controls, dials, and levers. Domestic machines are designed for easily changing thread colors. They have thread spindles on top of the machine housing so the operator can quickly re-thread the machine in a new color. Domestic machines are not designed for heavy use or longevity. Older domestic machines made with all metal mechanisms can often be cleaned and serviced and still work great. Newer machines with plastic parts are less durable and can be damaged beyond repair. Now let's talk about industrial sewing machines. Industrial machines are manufacturing equipment designed for factory production and often cost a couple thousand dollars. You can find good deals on local secondhand marketplaces equipment resellers, and sometimes asking local sewing machine repair specialists. Industrial machines are mounted in work tables with a foot pedal to drive the machine and a knee lever to lift and lower the presser foot. These tables can be adjusted and ergonomically customized for the operator. So if you decide to purchase an industrial machine, take the time to configure the stand for your comfort when sewing. Industrial machines do one stitch. Most of the ones where I work are straight stitch machines with an adjustable stitch length. We also have a four-thread industrial serger. Again, because these are designed for mass production, they do one thing and nothing else. Our industrials do have a reverse lever for back stitching, but the first shop I worked at had an old machine without one. Industrial machines are designed to use big cones of thread for sewing thousands of seams in the same color. We use them with smaller spools of thread, too, but they don't have a thread spindle on the machine like domestics do. Industrials can wind bobbins while sewing. This allows operators to quickly replace empty bobbins. I've worked in costume shops with only domestic machines and places like my current employer with a combination of industrial and domestic. Because costume shops do a lot of sewing but also sometimes need specialty stitches, even places that do a lot of custom production often have a couple of domestics available. If you mostly sew to alter and repair garments, only occasionally making clothing from cut fabric yardage, a domestic machine is probably the best choice. If you cut and sew as a regular practice, whether you're making costumes, custom formal wear, or even made-to-order home goods like draperies, consider whether to invest in an industrial machine. It could level up your business and your art. For more videos on specialized equipment used in costume making and other custom sewn goods, check out this playlist.